India, a cradle of the human race, the birthplace of many great mystics, including Gautama the Buddha. India, a land of remarkable diversity. India cannot be categorized with other countries. You will not capture this tremendous energy field anywhere else. I feel like with every time that I come here, I, what I discover actually is my beauty, my strength, what I have to bring to the world. My interest to come here was purely uh, because of meditation. Walking in here, one thing I noticed was instantly there was this burden on the heart and mind that left me. You know because there was a lot of this playfulness in the air, the campus was so beautiful. I've, I've probably enjoyed almost every spot at, this, at the campus so far, and I've liked almost every spot. I remember the moment I came to the Osho Auditorium and looked at the Osho Auditorium for the first time and just saw the beauty of the pyramid and the blue skies and the trees all around, and I was just awestruck at how beautiful this place was. The Osho International Meditation Resort, an environment created to support individual experience of meditation, celebration, creativity and contribution. People from more than a hundred countries, with half of the participants here for their first time, come in for days, weeks or longer to a meeting place of friends. Famed for its black pyramid buildings, the largest of which is the Osho Auditorium. This facility offers the Osho active meditations from six in the morning through the later evening. Instruction and support is provided. You know, Osho Dynamic was my first meditation that I did for an extended period, and it was life-changing. Um, back then, in my 20s, early 30s, uh, this meditation was revolutionary uh, because the energy living in America, uh, traveling so much, was so much into the head. This meditation helped me to get back into the body, you know, start to feel um, breeze on my body, the taste of the food, it just got me into the body. All we have to do is just unlearn this restlessness that we have in the body and in the mind. And active meditations are such powerful doorways, such playful doorways to undo this tension in the body and the mind. And then you realize that meditation is truly your nature underneath. Every single day I notice myself changing. Every time I go into one meditation, I feel like I come out a slightly different person. Within this year, I've gotten a lot calmer as a person. I used to be quite anxious and anxiety ridden. And I think that's so different to what I am now. I used to be quite socially awkward and I hated talking to people. And I feel like that's changed in such a drastic way. I really love Osho Kundalini meditation because, because the meditation happens at the end of the day. And so I find that no matter what's been going out throughout the day, when I go for that meditation, I just come out feeling so peaceful and so cleansed and just feel like I'd shaken off anything that had happened to me that was impacting me throughout the day. And I feel like I can then, you know, move on from it. My favorite part of the day, honestly, might be the evening meeting. I, and I'll be perfectly honest, you know, full disclosure, the first three days here, the evening meeting, 
is almost what is what made me want to leave because I didn't understand it. There was a lot about it that I just didn't really connect with. I'm like, man, what did I do? And then I went to the uh, in-depth talk from uh, Amrito about it and he explained why each step is done and what you're supposed to get, get from that step. And when I went the next day to it, it was completely different. I understood more what was going on. And ever since then, I really, I've loved going to it. It's really a good experience. The Osho Multiversity, in its purpose, is designed as a bridge to meditation. There are more than 150 offerings for every interest and participation through the year. There are highly trained people to meet with you, to support your decisions of what offerings might be most useful. My first really deep, uh, powerful experience through a multiversity course was uh, through breathing. It was a breathing course. Um, it just did something like an explosion. I did not realize how shallow my breathing was, how much more I was breathing than needed. There was this tension around the upper body, neck and lungs. So this breath course again just opened up something deep within me. Now my involvement is uh, in different facets um, through multiversity. I am here uh, facilitating meditation and meditation courses, um, facilitate trainings for Osho hypnosis, uh, Osho meditations in depth. I think when we walk, as I walked in through this door, uh, it was very quick you know, to realize that we are pretty much living someone else's program. We are living as conditioned beings. Conditioning given to us by our parents, by our teachers, priests, politicians. So I think multiversity was the doorway that helped me to uh, decondition or uncondition myself from these belief systems. And when that surfaces, you know, these are incredible doorways through creativity, through esoteric sciences, through movement, to decondition, uncondition, unburden yourself of that so you can truly come in contact with who you are because all these sayings about love yourself, be yourself, no one has an understanding of what the self truly is. So for the first time with all that burden gone, all that conditioning gone, uh, you start to get a glimpse of the self, uh, meet yourself, be, you know. So um, that is what was a, a starting point, a gift for me. There's something about the, about the painting course. It has these qualities of um, like an, an unexpectedness. Like even if I've done it already two, three times, I never actually know really what's going to happen next and and that can be also really in the structure of the course but it but it's also a lot about uh, painting when you paint when I paint I never know really what is going to to happen next like if I go with my natural flow of things I never know what color I'm going to use next or in what way or how they're going to come together once they come on the on the paper or or how I'm going to feel when I allow myself to use these colors or to express myself um, on the paper or there's something where it opens the space of spontaneity and something unexpected and, and also a lot just what, what I said before, it's like I always know that when I do this kind of painting, no, not when I sit and I try to draw something accurately, but when I just allow myself to kind of become part of the paint, part of the painting also, then something opens up inside of me, like an aliveness opens up inside of me. And, uh, It feels like a juiciness that opens up inside. Uh, multiversity courses, i uh, done the uh, inner training and uh, just a couple of techniques that I learned in the course that was just amazing. You know, if you just take, take that one second or just do an exercise where you just tell yourself to stop. 
You know, you could be stressed out or upset about something if you just say stop and stop in that moment, take a breath and then open your eyes again. Whatever you were upset about almost goes away, depending on what it is, you know, but uh, it just almost goes away. Just that one technique was, you know, extremely helpful. The first Osho Multiversity course I did was Osho No Mind and it was really like the perfect thing for me to do at that time because I'd been so like filled with so much garbage. I'd just been, before doing that course, I'd been kind of reading so many books and watching so much TV. I feel like I was filling myself up with all of this information from the internet and I think I was just filling myself up with so much information to avoid dealing with stuff that was actually going on inside me. And so Osho No Mind was the perfect thing to do because seven days of gibberish and sitting silently just cleansed my whole mind out completely and just cleansed me out as a person. I feel like I came out feeling so much lighter and just so much more excited about the world after I did Osho No Mind. Classes are offered every day of the year. Energy, body-focused activities, from Tai Chi, Zen archery, Sufi whirling, and many others. acres is an expression of nature with human shared harmony. Some areas of the campus are silent zones where only nature speaks. Selections of international vegetarian cuisine with recipes from across India, through Italy, China and beyond. With two dining areas at garden and poolside and a cafe with trained baristas. several longer programs offered. One is work as meditation, providing techniques and experience to move with a different awareness and understanding into the marketplace of your everyday living. I just communicate with people so much better and I know that's going to help me a lot when I go and work in places other than this place because I think the work as meditation program you learn you, all of these skills that you need in a workplace. I'm currently doing social media for Osho, so I manage the Osho Facebook page as well as Instagram. And so what I do is try and make sure we get Osho across to a wide audience around the world. So Osho's vision, his words, um, things that are happening on campus, different courses going on, different events, and just sharing Osho with the whole world. 
Part of my original plan for coming here was to learn how to uh, deal with stress at work, which is why I entered the Work as Meditation program here. And at first, I, I almost I felt more stressed, you know. But after being in the program now for over a month, I now I kind of understand why the program exists and what it's meant to do for each person. And what it's meant to do for each person is going to be different. It's not going to be the same for everybody because everybody has different jobs, different lifestyles. Uh, but for me, it's uh, it's all I can already see how it's helped me to stay more in the moment or more aware of what I'm doing there and now, here and now. So that when I go out to the real world, I can take that with me, which will allow me to be less stressed and more uh, at relax, you know, more calm when I am at work. When I do have to deal with those stressful situations or those stressful uh, individuals that I might have to deal with in their you know, everyday life. The Meditation Resort Expression High quality facilities including Olympic sized pool, tennis courts, jacuzzi, gym, and sauna spas. A big component of uh, the Osho Meditation Resort is um, the celebration component, besides the meditation. I have a lot of fun being involved in the events, uh, so every night we have a component of celebration, whether that's through dancing, through singing, through theater, through painting. Uh, so we put together 365 events, uh, pretty much one every day. For me, this is one of the most creative, most playful meditation park, you know. It's a place where you come, you meet people from 100 different countries. There are so many possibilities to learn meditation through different doorways, to be creative, to participate. Uh, so I describe this place as um, a very, very creative, playful meditation field and a meditation park to come and learn that art. I would describe this place as a great way to come and just express yourself and to be yourself. I think this is, for me, the only place on, planet, on the planet where someone like me could just be themselves 100% and really express all the different facets of yourself. I would like to thank Osho for bringing this to the world and to other people and sharing it and not just keeping it for himself or his friends or just the people he cared about. I believe that he cared about everyone. And that's the reason why he brought it to everyone. And for everyone to then bring it to everyone that they care about and love. It's a place where I have a chance to, to meet myself in a new way and, and to meet other people in a new way and to It's really somehow a place where I get to experience the magic in life, but in such a simple way, because it just is in this place.
an Osho proposal for a new human. He calls Zorba the Buddha. Zorba as a quality of celebration living, Buddha as a relaxed awareness.